In this lecture, we're going to look at using the pin check plugin. This allows your application to check whether a pin or passcode is set up on iOS or Android devices. So we can start off by adding the Cordova plugin. Let's say Ionic Cordova plugin add Cordova plugin pin check. If you are asked to install the CLI plugin for Cordova, hit yes to continue. Now that we've done that, we can install the Ionic Native plugin by saying at Ionic Native slash pin check. And of course, we'll need to add dash dash save if you're not running NPM 5 and above. Like I said, this is supported on both Android and iOS. And with that said, let's open up inside of VS Code. As always, let's head over to our app module.ts and we can import pin check from ionic native slash pin check. We can then add this to the list of providers. And once we've done that, we can head over to the components in which we want to use this plugin. So I'll be using this inside of the home page. I won't need the nav controller, so I'll remove that. And I will inject this by saying private pin check of type pin check. Let's import that from Ionic Native and we can make ourselves a function named check if pin setup. It does return a promise, so we will make this async and we'll also add a try catch. If there are any errors, we will use console.error to display them inside of the console. After that, we can await, so use the resolved promise on this dot pin check dot is pin setup. As you can see here, this returns a promise of type boolean. So we can store the result in a constant. So I'm going to say const result is equal to that response. We can then console dot log the result and inside of home.html I will change the title to is pin setup. I'll also add a color to our navbar and one singular button. We'll give the ion button attribute the clear attribute and of course the block attribute with the click event of check if pin is set up. Let's run this inside of our phone and I'm going to say Ionic Cordova run Android L. This will allow us to start a live reload server on the device. So any changes we may make on the computer are automatically updated on the device. So I'm going to click the button now, check if pin set up. And as you can see, we do get pin underscore set up here on the device because I do actually have a pin. I've gone ahead and removed the pin from my device and if I click it once again, we get no pin set up. And it comes as an error at this point. And that's because we are assigning the catch to display the result as an error. You can go ahead and do whatever you want with that. But like I said, initially, we are finding that we do get the pin set up when we do have a pin. And then of course, we get no pin set up when the user does not have a pin. I was expecting this to return true or false, given that the interface does say that it returns a Boolean, but I guess this is kind of a Boolean of sorts because there's only two specific values, either pin setup or no pin setup. So just keep that in mind if you're expecting a true or false. So that's how we integrate the pin check plugin inside of our Ionic applications.